The opening section of American Idiot by Green Day features several power chords. The first one being A flat 5. To play this chord we have our first finger on the 6th string at the 4th fret. Our third finger then plays on the 5th and 4th strings at the 6th fret, giving us this chord. The second chord is D flat 5, where we move our hand down so that our first finger, still on the 4th fret, now plays the 5th string and our third finger covers both the fourth and third strings at the sixth fret. Put these two together, we have this. The next chord is G flat five. Our first finger is on the sixth string at the second fret. Our third finger is on the fourth fret, covering both strings five and four. We then go back to the D flat five, and then back to the A flat five and then back to the G flat 5. So just three chords. Play that again. In the right hand it's very important to keep the arm moving, a bit like with acoustic guitar playing in 16th notes or semiquavers. So we're playing 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and this has to be absolutely consistent whether we're actually striking the guitar strings or not you'll then see that my arm seems to keep moving in this constant motion irrespective of whether a chord happens at that moment or not. So here is this motion with the chords. Very important to keep that motion going, that's absolutely essential. Section 2 of this riff is almost identical to section 1 other than the very last chord is different. The first time the riff went ended up there on that G flat power chord. This time we end on a B chord, which we play by putting our first finger in a bar across three strings at the fourth fret. These are strings four, three, and two. Do not strike string one. So this chord will replace the G flat at the end of the riff. Here it is. So if I put those two together, Section 2 strum pattern is exactly the same as section 1, other than because we finish on a different chord, we now have to strike strings 4, 3 and 2 on the final chord, rather than 6, 5 and 4. Second section strumming then looks like this. If I put the two parts together, it looks like this. two sections back together.